in this video we look at apps notification and how you can turn them on or off for each um, um, individual application that you have so the easiest way for me to demonstrate this is to go to the store and then let's look for an app to install so if I let's install this one you own this app or I call my own every app so let's look for anything it doesn't really matter Oh, I've already installed this as well okay there's no not too many apps at the moment so that is why um, let's just install this okay if I click on install and uh, and go back to the start screen let's look at how it's behaving here it says pending uh, the web radio is pending and it's installing as you can see now this is an um, this is the notification as you can see we can close it if I click on the notification it will open the particular app so that means the store app is actually giving us notification and um, say for example you want to turn off uh, an, an app to give you notification for example you might have safe messaging and you're receiving so much messages maybe you have like 100 friends online and they're all messaging you and it's giving you notification or mail or you have too much email coming in and you want to disable the notification so if you go to this if you go to the uh, PC settings on the notification you have option to actually switch off all apps notification so you can show app notification or you can off everything as you can see every application now is being turned gray which means they're not going to notify you so show app notification on the lock screen you can also decide to show apps notification on the lock screen or disable them this is like uh, in the iPhone where you get uh, when you have a message and you can set up to have the message actually pops up or even on the lock screen or you, you can disable it so you can either enable that or disable that you can play notification sound which I think is quite cool or if you don't want to disable everything you can choose a particular app to uh, to disable so for example the store one which is we using as an example let's disable store notification and then try and install another app from there and see how that works so paint for kids let's just install that for installing sake and uh, once it starts installing we're going to go back to the start screen and as you can see here it's a pending paint for kids is pending uh, now it's installing installing and it's finished installation but there is no notification so we've disabled the notification Honestly, I don't think I really want my store notification because when I click on something that is installing, maybe I want to leave it on because sometimes maybe the installation is not successful or there's a problem. It should notify us, it should notify us anyway, even if there's no um, uh, notification. But uh, uh, if you have like messaging or mail that is driving you crazy with too much notifications, you might want or another app, you might want to turn that off something like metro tweet which is twitter client as well might drive you crazy if you have too much uh, twitter coming in so maybe you can configure uh, how many messages you get from the settings actually let's look at that i have to sign in i have to log in to twitter account let's do something let's look at the general settings of this application oh i have to sign in first and uh, so this is how you uh, turn on or turn off a, a notification for different apps. Thank you.